All right, so in this video, I thought we should look at some more examples of Euler diagrams and make sure we understand um, how to prove the validity of an argument using an Euler diagram. So here's another example. Um, I have all whole numbers are integers. All integers are real numbers. Therefore, all whole numbers are real numbers. So what I want to start to do is just draw a circle and actually I want two of them because every time I see the word all I know I have two circles um, and the first one which I'm just gonna call W for whole numbers is inside of this bigger circle that's integers that way all whole numbers are integers then it says all integers are real numbers so once again I need to add a circle and integers the thing that says first needs to go inside of real numbers okay so now I've made all my premises true. Whole numbers are integers, integers are real numbers, so can I say that therefore all whole numbers are real numbers? And I can, because I can see this W inside of this um, R, so I would say this is valid. It's important at the end of having a statement to you, like after having the argument, that you say valid or invalid, so I know what your answer is. All right, so here's another one. All quarterbacks are football players. Jameis Winston is a quarterback, therefore Jameis Winston is a football player. And this should sound like one we did before, so this shows me if you watch the other video or not. So again, all here is two circles, um, so I would put quarterbacks here and then football players here. So the question is, where do I put Jameis Winston? And that's if you know who he is and don't know who he is. But it says Jameis is a quarterback, so I know Jameis needs to be in here with that Q. So now, can I decide that Jameis Winston is a football player? And you can say absolutely because he's inside that quarterback circle. That circle's inside of football, so I can say valid statement. Oops. Let's try the next one. This one says some football players are quarterbacks. So again, I'm sticking with that quarterback thing. I guess I was on a football kick. So this time with it saying some, I do two circles one for football players and one for quarterbacks. And I stayed with the same idea as the last one. I said Jameis is a quarterback. So he goes over here. So does that, does that mean I know he's a football player? Well, this time no, right? So it's all how much information do I give you? Were the premises enough for you to draw the conclusion? And this one says no. All I can tell you is Jameis plays quarterback. Some quarterbacks play football. That's all I know. So this says invalid. Again, we separate what we know from life from what we have in our truth um, and our statements. All right. This one again says sum. So as soon as I see sum, I draw two overlapping circles. And this says cars. And then I have tinted windows. Okay. It also says some cars are convertible. So that means maybe I should put cars in here so I don't mess it up when I go to put C. So I'm going to add this convertible circle as well. I'm just going to go ahead and peek at the um, conclusion, though. that says some convertibles have tinted windows and say, um, I don't know that from what you just told me. So if I do C for convertibles, this says cars have tinted windows, some cars are convertibles, but does that mean some convertibles have tinted windows? Not from the information I gave you. I didn't give you enough information for you to um, say that that's valid. Okay, so let's try again. Some surgeons are pediatricians. Some, two circles, surgeons, pediatricians. All pediatricians are doctors. Okay, all means pediatricians need to go inside a bigger circle of doctors. So I'm putting the doctors around the pediatricians. Therefore, some surgeons are doctors. Absolutely, right? There was no way for me to draw a circle of doctors around pediatricians and not have it touch the surgeons because the surgeons and the pediatricians already had something in common. All right, so maybe this is a good time to say, like, why don't you give it a little try? Um, and, and then I threw it onto stuff that maybe you don't know anything about because I threw some committee stuff in here. And what does that have to do with anything, right? So why don't you look at this one? All members of the General, Edu Commi General Education Committee have tenure. Tim is on the General Education education committee, therefore Tim has tenure. Why don't you pause me, try this out on your own, and then come back and see how you did. And I'm going to keep going and say, like, I hope you came back now. So I'm starting out with all. So general educate 
Education Committee and Tenure. Um, Tim, that was right, Tim is on the General Edu Education Committee, so therefore he has tenure valid. Okay, once again, let's have you try this. All hockey players are men, some hockey players are Canadian, therefore some Canadians are men, and remember, you have to show the first two things and then you go does it force the last one so be careful with these that you know look as is it forced or not all right so I'm gonna go ahead and draw mine I have hockey players inside of a circle that says men it says all hockey players are men some hockey players are Canadian so I know that I need to throw hockey players um, in Canadians together and that's gonna force me to touch that man circle so I could draw it small inside I can make it kind of overlap I can go like this if I want to and say Canadians didn't matter how I did it there was no choice because all hockey players being men as soon as I had Canadians and hockey players I knew they were gonna overlap so some Canadians are men absolutely All right, again try this one all deserts are arid some deserts are in polar regions. All polar regions have ice caps, therefore some deserts have ice caps. Definitely I looked this up because I know nothing about polar regions. I am from Florida. So try this one out. I know I added an extra little sense there, but that's good. Alright, so let's see what we have. I have deserts and arid. So it said all deserts are arid. Some deserts are in polar regions, so I'm having to add this polar regions in. It's going to touch deserts, which is going to force it to touch arid, so let's go polar regions. So therefore, um, so all deserts are arid. Some deserts are in polar regions. All polar regions have ice caps. So this means i got to add another circle on here. And this is for all, so polar is going to be inside. This is ice caps. Um, so can I say that some deserts have ice caps? Yes, this is also valid. Okay, here's the last one. All members of the Green Beret are in the Army. All members of the Green Beret are U.S. citizens. Therefore, all members of the Army are U.S. citizens. Okay, again, I looked this stuff up because what do I know about the Green Beret? Um, try this one out, draw the circle, see if you get valid or invalid. Um, I will show you what I got. I got all Green Beret are in the Army. So Green and Army. All members of the Green Beret are U.S. citizens. So I got to draw another circle. Doesn't matter how big, but this will be U.S. citizens. Therefore, all members of the Army are U.S. citizens. Well, that doesn't fly, right? When I drew my U.S. citizens, I did draw it around Green Beret, but I didn't draw it around the Army because it didn't tell me it was around the Army. So, I do make it that all Green Beret are in the Army. All members of the Green Beret are U.S. citizens, but does that say all members of the Army are U.S. citizens? No. So, that would be invalid.